inside this box is maybe the manliest knife you've ever it's manly and it's pink let's get into this so all of blade show i was looking i had this knife in the back of my head one of the subs and part of the group has been talking about this knife for a while and i keep looking at it on the different websites and it shows up and i've been really interested in it but it kind of kept slipping my mind it wasn't one of the ones that was at the forefront of what i wanted to look at but on i think on saturday i passed by the booth and we were on our way to us and the group were on our way somewhere else and this caught my eye and i made a note i had to get back here i had to get back here to check these out and i was so glad i did so inside here is a gingrich tactical innovations awesome knife look and it's even signed by the man himself justin gingrich and so you guys gotta check this knife out first off the dude is a former army ranger and he's just he was really nice but really scary and just really cool and sat and took his time and this was on sunday after probably a million people had come to see him he still took the time to sit there and talk to me and i got some more cool stuff to talk to about him but let's get into his knife first so yeah he wasn't he wasn't so super he was able to make a pink knife so i added a pink lanyard i'm sorry and but then i added some skulls to really you know demonstrate who i am with the manliness check that out anyways that's not his stuff we'll get into the knife here but anyways this is really cool oh man did you hear that listen to that listen to it whack open again Oh, messed that up. All right, let's do it this time. Oh, man. It just locks into place. I'll tell you why it locks into place in a second. Check out the, I think this is like three and a quarter inches of, I got a fingerprint on there. Let me take that off of there. Three and a quarter inches of CTS BD1 on this draw point blade. Check out the grind on that, though. That is super, like, slicey, and it came as sharp as the devil. Let me get a coupon over here. I haven't touched it or nothing. Let me show you what it feels like on a coupon. I'll make open up some coupons real quick. All right. Talk amongst yourself just for a second. All right, here we go. So, just, just, go, oh, just, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes I mess up the first coupons. Look at it. Right out of the box. Just super, super slicey. Look at just little slivers. Anyway, so it's super slicing. Check this out. I got a Blade Show 2019 one of one. Yeah. It's so, it's the moment I got it in my hands, I pretty much knew I had to have it. I kind of knew I wanted it beforehand, and that was because of the real huge selling feature of this knife, which we're going to get into in a second. But first, check out. You got thumb studs on here. Look at that. But you also got flipper action look at that. these are not blade stops they are in fact thumb studs and if you look at this it's got a glass breaker right out the end there so ching, ching. if you gotta break some glass or, or maybe you just gotta poke somebody in the forehead a couple times to make them realize they grabbed the wrong person either way it's gonna break something check that out so you got 3.25 inches that thing snaps open nice you guys oh if you're the one who told me to get this knife or look at it, post down here. I know you did. You know who I'm talking about. You've been in the live streams. You're the one who told me to do this. This was a great idea. This is one of those knives you're going to need. I'm going to need another one of just because I can't mess up this one. All right, so now you got this textured, like, titanium scales here. Oh, man. This thing, you know, there's certain grips that you're really strong at. So let's say you're way out here, you're not as strong, and if you close too hard, your grip doesn't feel as like you can get as much leverage but like right there if you're this is it this is that knife that makes me this is almost like the perfect leverage type of work grip to where i just feel like i can just push through something really hard and just if i needed to on this it's a really thick or wide knife it's not super thick across the back but it's wide here and it just just right there just gives you a super powerful leverage type grip if you wanted to go to town with this thing it kind of reminds me of like the 
what's that ZT with the thick, is it the 350 or whatever it is? But kind of like that, just with that thick, ugh, kind of, I want to do some serious whatever kind of work with my knife. And that's the way this one feels. But, so it's got a really good clip here. It's kind of ramped up. It's pretty tight, but you can get, get your pants in there if that's what you're going to do. You know, I like to jam these things in my pocket. I don't use clips a lot, so you'll see a lot of my videos where I'm like, look, there's something here that's to be used, but you'll like the clip. It's it's pretty tight, but you can get your pants in there. And I don't know if that, I think that's titanium as well, so I might put a little color on that. I'm not sure. It's got these two backstops here, so it's open construction. You can see in there pretty easily. You had to clean it out, you know, clean out the blood of your enemy or pine tar or whatever it gets in there what's or say pine tar for the children in the audience we don't know what we're talking about all right so just an excellent excellent grip on this thing and i wish i had another knife to have that kind of grip just just kind of makes sense i mean you get other knives that feel really good and and it's not a perfect you know you, there's not this perfect grip that you're looking for but this one it just feels i know i got something somewhere but we'll look at that later all right, now for the really important thing about this knife that makes it super innovative. I mean, we've all seen, you know, titanium flippers and frame locks and whatnot. But look at this. This is the Delta Lock. Check that out. Now look at that. So what this is doing, and this is what I think is doing, so it might be wrong, is I believe that this V here, this V you see here, is rotating into a cutout in the blade so now instead of just having that liner lock lined up here on the tang now it's got the tang so you got the liner on the tang and you've got those two cutouts interlined with the blade so it's like here's the tang lock then here's the inner lock here and then there's another lock here so it's almost like that. It's like a W almost of lockage. So you got the tang lock here that's hitting the tang or the inside of the knife. And then you got this V here, this side of the V that's hitting the inside of the knife. And then you got the V there. This thing is just unbelievably locked in. So you can kind of see when it opens. I wish I had enough guts to open this thing and show you guys how it works because it would be really cool to look at. However, I have a deep fear of never getting it back together due to mechanical incompetence. So check that out. But anyways, the lock is super locked up. He really explained it to me. Basically, what he said, I'm going to try and paraphrase it, instead of having, let's say, like one inch of grab on here with the liner lock, now you have one, and then you have this side, so it can't go this way because of that. It can't go that way because of that. And it, it's just got, like here and here to keep it from going this way there and there to keep it from going that way it's just super locked up and it doesn't get in your way and it doesn't you don't have to figure out a new lock or anything it's just basically the same liner lock action with i don't know three four times the strength five times the strength i don't even know what the calculations on that would be but it's really amazing and the knife you know it wouldn't it, if the knife wasn't awesome the lock wouldn't be awesome I mean, if you had a you know a goofy looking knife with a awesome lock on it what's the point but this knife in hand just like this if this was a regular you know liner of uh, liner lock or uh what's the other one liner lock or uh had mind lock there frame lock is what i'm trying to think of i had to go back into the archives there so you know liner lock or frame lock this would be a really great knife but you add this to it and this is just super innovative and it just not only is it innovative and new but it's effective it's not just innovative for the for the sake of being innovative i really i would really wish i had a knife i don't want to beat on this i wish i could just go to town on this but you know this is a one of one so there you go and it's also a fairly expensive knife i'm not going to go to town on it but if you did i have a good feeling it would hold up to a lot of town if you had to go to town <laughs> but it, oh, this thing is awesome if you all out there like flippers the thing is awesome if you all there like beef the thing is awesome if you like a thumb stud i mean i like the thumb stud 
like that. That's the way I would open that. This thing is awesome. If you like excellent logos with skulls on it, it's awesome. If you like stuff made by veterans, it's awesome. If you like stuff made by really cool, scary dudes, it's awesome. This thing is awesome in every way. I can't think of any way that I don't like this. And it's pink. And there you go. I mean, on top of it, you no, know, once again, pink. He said it, not me. You'll have to argue with the scary guy. But this knife, I love. This is one of my favorite purchases from Blade Show this year. Just... And not, it wasn't really a surprise purchase as far as me, but I'm surprised I liked it as much as I do. And I like it enough that I would like to get a different one or another one. It's one of those knives because I, I want to I use it, but I don't want to use my super special Blade Show one, even though I got really awesome manly skulls on it now. So, open construction, CTS BD1 blade, made in the United States, you know, that floats your boat. Secret, super super not secret but super awesome skulls titanium scales check that out and that sweet awesome delta lock that is just really really super locked up do you want to see how much it weighs real quick okay i'm gonna show you how much it weighs and because i don't i couldn't find how much it weighs or i would have told you but now we got the uh lanyard on there so we'll start off in europe we'll try to pick up the lanyard a bit Let's just say in the 210 gram range. So it's a pretty chunky piece of uh, metal here. So we're gonna, just to be kind, we'll say seven and a half, seven and a half ounces. It's not a small knife, but it's definitely a work knife. It definitely has purposes beyond just being really cool and innovative, which it is. It's cool and innovative, but it's gonna put in a lot of time in your in your pocket if, if you're if you're looking for something that wants to do what you want it to do I can't think of a lot of things you couldn't do with this knife it's definitely something I want to carry I'm definitely gonna look into getting another one as far as that goes all right let me know what you think down there have you seen this knife before have you heard of this knife if hadn't been for the sub that told me about this I wouldn't even know about this knife which is a shame because this thing is awesome. I hope this gets this knife out there a little bit more because this is a fantastic knife. It's a really cool option or really cool maybe change of pace from people that like the flippers and like the regular frame locks and, and you want just maybe a little something different and something really super awesome and not just different for different sake, but something that makes sense as far as strengthening up the blade, strengthening up the whole overall experience of this. So, Mr. Gingrich, you did something awesome here. Really cool. I really like this knife and appreciate all your kindness. And that's another thing. I was at his, this is just an addendum. I was at his booth and he said, Hey, are you a beer drinker? And I said, Not really. And he goes, Well, you are now. And he gave me a really cool bottle opener. And I don't have it with me. I have to get to it. And then he was giving t shirts away, and all I had was a medium. And I haven't seen medium since probably the third grade. So I, he said, I would give you a t-shirt, but you know, he was trying to be nice. I don't know if you would uh, squeeze into that. I said, hey, you know, we got this, I got a channel and I give stuff away all the time. Could I get the t-shirt instead? And he said, sure. And he ended up giving me both of them. So there's a PIF, a PIF shirt out there because Mr. Gingrich was kind enough to do that too. So it was an awesome experience. One of those cool blade show awesome experiences where you get the cool knife you get the kind of the cool signature and the really cool personalized spirit and attitude and and then on top of that he was really cool about giving us something to give away so overall fantastic experience fantastic knife and just a really cool dude and i can't really say too much more positive about this knife i can't think of anything negative about the knife it's besides it just you know, for the average person's EDC, it is, it's a hefty beast, but if you're carrying this thing, you're probably going to want to do some kind of work with it, and it's just that kind of knife. All right, do me a favor. Tell me if you like this. Tell me if you're looking at this. What do you think about this? Do you got something comparable to this? Maybe like that ZT I was talking about, and what do you think about that lock? That lock is pretty awesome, but let me know what you think down there, and do me a favor. Like this video here. Go over here, subscribe, please, pretty please. Come back here, hit the bell, 
and then go watch the rest of my videos. I'll talk to you later.